What is up, iShine 11 or iShine 2011 fans, depending on what you're here for. This is iShine 2011 here. Um, you know, it's been a week since I've given you any uh, vlog, whether it be Phantom, Love Never Dies, which is a vlog about what's on my blog, which is Pamipedia. But anyways, um, this is not going to be a Phantom, Love Never Dies vlog. Sorry, guys, that are here for this. I'll post one of those videos probably tomorrow. But today, I want to talk about someone by the name Fantasia Barrino. You know, the 2004 American Idol champ. She has been going through a lot these past few weeks. Let me tell you, though I'm sure you already know, but I'm going to give you my opinion as well. Excuse the hair. Like I said, this is the first time I've been home in about five or six days. I was chilling at my boyfriend's house. I washed my hair, deep conditioned it. You know, brush the sides down, make it look all good. This is going to look all good tomorrow, but as of right now, this is just going to look like that. But anyway, so again, sorry for that. But So Fantasia's been in the news lately, maybe maybe the past two weeks. Um, maybe longer than that, I don't know, but I just learned about it about two weeks ago. She was supposedly in a relationship with a married man. Now, the married man's name is Antoine Cook. Uh, his wife, his estranged wife, as it's coming out in the news, her name is Paula Cook. Um, she came up with these allegations that uh, Mrs. Cook saying that her husband and Fantasia have a sex tape together. And, now, and, basically, and basically that Fantasia just ruined their marriage. Though a lot of the reports say that they were estranged for quite some time they don't give a they don't give an exact date to when they started being estranged or how long they've been separated but they say they were a strange couple as it says in the news the story goes fantasia met antoine in a t-mobile store in north carolina where fantasia lives and where the cook family resides as well um she met him in a t-mobile store in august of last year um they've been on and off for the past couple of months past 11 to 12 months um what else she's reportedly fell in love with him in these past 11 or 12 months she's reportedly i don't know if this is for sure but she's been giving him trips overseas paying at all expenses um be giving him large uh large amounts large amounts of money at a time she's been buying them expensive gifts you know just lavishing him because she loves this man so much she even got the man's last name tattoo on her upper shoulder. I can't remember if it's a left or right shoulder, but it's on her upper. You can like if she wears a strapless dress, you can see it's like sitting right there. It says "cook." Looks like it's written in cursive, right on her shoulder. Now, people might get angry at me for this, but I personally believe that Fantasia believes that Antoine and his wife were separated at the time that they met last year. I mean, she was kind of hyped tattooing the man's name on her body. I mean, who does that anymore? But I don't think she would have done that if she knew the man was married. You know, I mean, I mean, unless you just don't give a fuck. I mean, you are a celebrity. A lot of celebrities just don't give a fuck. But Fantasia didn't come across to me that way. I really think she really didn't know. And it really took her by surprise. That's why when it came in the news yesterday morning that she had overdosed on aspirin and sleeping pills i'm like well damn this is really hitting her heart i'm, I'm really thinking i'm really thinking about it in my heart that she didn't know that that man and his wife were still together she thought they were separated you know they just didn't divorce yet or whatever the case may be so she was allowed to go ahead and do things with this man i don't know about spending all the lavish gifts on him but she was allowed to be with this man and love this man because he was separated from his wife that's what she thought and that's what she said that he had told her now her managers and you know her manager and her reps they're saying you know a lot of the accusations that mrs cook is bringing across including um the sex tape is false she's just hyping things up more than they were they were uh they were separating when fantasia met the guy everything is completely fine she just took it out of the ordinary you know she was just being beheaded, maybe trying to get her 15 minutes of fame, whatever. They're saying that she's building it up to be more than it was. And maybe she's just trying to get some recognition, some money out of the deal. I don't know. But her reps are totally saying, you know, she's not saying she's not telling the truth. 
they're saying that Fantasia is not agreeing with all that she's saying either, and that she's really upset by this. You can tell, you can kind of tell that she's upset by this because she overdosed on aspirin and sleeping pills. Like, when the last time you heard somebody overdosing on aspirin? Like, come on, like, I really think she didn't know. Now, when you come, when you think about the Alicia Keys and Swiss B scenario, they knew they was wrong. That's why they waited until the, the, the last minute that they could to reveal that they were together. I mean, she was getting big. She was about to pop. So you really can't hide that, that that was his child. You know, she was pregnant with his child. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, they really, they, you, you know they were wrong because there were rumors about them being together in January. And nobody said anything until Alicia started showing. I bet you if she would have never got pregnant, we still, they still, when they came out and said, hey, we're together. So, yeah, I, yeah, in that situation, they was wrong. But I really think Fantasia didn't know. This girl's, like, going to complete shot now. Do you see Alicia Keys going to shot? No, because her dumb ass no. So, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, I think, I think Fantasia really didn't know. I really feel bad for the girl. I mean, how would you feel if you been doing all this stuff for this man, supposedly fell in love with this man, and then his estranged wife comes out of the world and talking about some, oh, they got a sex tape together, and she was doing this, that, and the third, she was trying to ruin my marriage. I would feel like shit, too. Especially you a celebrity. You can have all these haters and all these people on the blogs, fans in the street, whatever. All these people coming up to you talking about some, you this dirty dog, you this, that, and the third. I would feel like shit, too. So, Fantasia, I hope you get better. According to her manager, she stay on out. She's being released from the hospital soon. So hopefully you get released from the hospital soon. And I wish you the best. And hopefully you keep a level head throughout the situation. Because if you react to it wrong, everybody's going to look at you wrong. This situation is not going to work out well for you. You feel me? So just, I guess, be a big girl about it if that's how you want to put it. If you, if you, knew, the, if you knew the man was married and you stay with him anyway, go ahead and say he was. If you didn't know and you really that upset about it and say you didn't know don't hide it sure i mean you were a grown woman you went ahead you went ahead and tattooed the man's name on your body so you really knew something about this man that you thought nobody else did you really cared for this man so whatever the case may be i don't think you knew but if you did know say it if you didn't know say it clear your name and let's move on to the show you got a beautiful voice let that make your money not the tab boys feel me don't let people ruin your life with stories about you're this type of you're this type of whatever you know who you are come out and say he was the only reason you got to say anything to the public because you're a celebrity if you wasn't a celebrity i would say fuck it and, and just keep going but tell the truth and just move on you know i just i just felt the need to address it because i'm like she's really going through a lot like i really don't think she would have overdosed on aspirin and sleeping pills if she knew that man was married or still with that woman anyway. I, I, you know, she doesn't come across to me as a I don't give a fuck type of celebrity. So I, I really feel bad for the girl. Anyways, I'm not gonna run my route too long. I'm sure everybody's heard the story already, and everybody has their opinions. And anybody have to excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm rushing because I tend to talk fast, and my time is running out. I got a minute and a half left. So if anybody has an opinion on it, where you think she knew or she didn't know, whatever your opinion on this scenario may be, whether it be Fantasia or Alicia Keys and Twist Beats, you can leave a comment below, video, word, regular text comment, doesn't matter. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I did not mean to belch on the camera. But leave me a comment. Uh, this is iShine2011, that's my YouTube, iShine11 is my Twitter. The blog is pimipedia.com. Um, I'll follow with more vlogs like this if I get a good response. So, you know, hit me up. Tell me what you like. All right, guys, have a, well, today's technically Thursday because it's 1.30 in the morning on Thursday. So have a good weekend if I don't post a video tomorrow. And God bless.